Hey everybody, how are you doing today? Uh, so I'm here to explain uh, the Zephyr G14 and who is it for and why should you buy it or why should you avoid it? Okay, so there is a big difference. Yes, it's a gaming laptop, but there is a big difference between a portable gaming laptop that can play games on the go and a hardcore gaming laptop let's put it this way and uh, the reason why I'm actually saying this is that because the 14 inch gaming laptop there's a reason why we do see a lot of 14 inch gaming laptop it's because you cannot crack too much performance in small chassis and the way the Zephyrus G14 has been designed is it can actually deliver a, a GTX or RTX 2060 but they had to lower the wattage input to 65 watts while you can see the same graphic card the RTX 2060 and other gaming laptop hardcore gaming laptops get into more than 65 watts now why is that there is a reason behind this because heat management is something that is actually uh, it's hard to manage on a small chassis let's put it this way and yes they made it they made it best way to do it in this chassis this is the best thing they can uh, I think this is a the best this is the benchmark okay this is the benchmark of winning the best performance for the thermals I don't see any type of laptop 14 inch can do something like this so far so far we didn't see anything but this this is the first laptop to introduce such uh, performance and this uh, form factor now you, why you buy the G14 so why do I actually buy it let's talk about this now for me I love like games from retros emulators in general so emulators in general is my uh, way to go and also I play games that are actually uh, not that demanding actually I'm not I'm not a shooter person I don't play games for shooting games uh, it's more like strategy games uh, more of uh, action games but not shooting so uh, these type of games is not my to go games uh, number two, I got this laptop because of the uh, speakers and the media playing experience. So if you actually uh, like to watch Netflix, you like to watch movies, if you're on the go, it's very portable, very nice. The way distribu distributed, very excellent on the four corners. So you don't feel that there is weight on the front or the back. Uh, it's very well distributed. Uh, the sound system is excellent quad speakers Dolby Atmos there is nothing no laptop speaker beat this one so far uh, so there are, there, are, there are reasons why would you put these together but the main thing is that uh, portability and access to gaming so this is a different between I want to buy this laptop to have a hardcore gaming RTX 2080 and crack this the, the performance up uh, this is not gonna get better for the, the for the uh, Zephyr G14 because the thermal is gonna hit almost 90s and maybe 100 I see videos that hit 100 for me I hit 94 you can watch the video that I posted before that when I tried the God of War and uh, it hits 94 just in, in it's three seconds so that's dangerous and my book is very dangerous you're gonna cook the you're gonna cook the laptop you know you're gonna, you're gonna burn your CPU you don't want to do that actually it's very dangerous um, so why would you buy it I think I just answered the question uh, so if you are a person who actually play hardcore games and want 144 Hertz screen uh, don't get this laptop okay get yourself a GE 75 uh, this is the MSI. This is the best gaming laptop when it comes to thermals. Uh, actually, uh, I'm going to drop some videos regarding the GE75 uh, because I want to show you the differences between a small portable uh, laptop that can game and a performance gaming laptop. 
which is a 17 inch and this is 14 inches of inch. very very big difference but yeah if you want me to do some comparison let me know in the comment section and uh yeah thank you guys uh take care see you later